Hey everyone, Kibby King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of a very, very alpha build. Not even an alpha build, it's just a quick port of um, the Samsung Galaxy S2's leak build of Ice Cream Sandwich, TouchWiz Ice Cream Sandwich. This is courtesy of Calculin. I'll link to his thread in the description of the video. I'm not doing a how-to video to install because there's so much that doesn't work, such as any radios whatsoever, so it's not really... Um, a daily driver at all. So it's just something that can give you a good idea of what it's going to look like once it's ported to your Epic 4G Touch. So I figured I'd do a review video for everyone. It's If you do want to check it out for yourself, you put the tar file in the PDA slot of Odin and flash it. Uh, but anyways, um, it just booted up. I haven't tried it at all yet. Looks like stock Samsung. Um, oh yeah, sweet. So it does have the new updated uh, lock screen. You touch anywhere on the screen and uh, you get an unlock option, obviously, so it's it's actually really cool. I love this lock screen. So you touch anywhere, and then you just swipe outside, and it unlocks it. Um, obviously, it's going to be very, very buggy, but it is nice to get a good idea, a good look at it up at the top. Notification bar. It looks like it's uh, got, it looks similar to the stock gingerbread battery icon, but it is different. It's a little bigger. Uh, looks like the text up in the upper right-hand corner is bigger as well. I'm going to go ahead and swipe down. It says software update, um, but obviously it's got auto rotation, silent mode, GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. That is from the port from the Galaxy S2 device. So as you can see, a lot of it's really buggy. A lot of stuff is just force closing. Hopefully, we can I can get it to uh, work so I can go over other things again. I might have to reboot the device. So as you can see, it's extremely buggy, but it's just nice to be able to. Uh, check it out. Okay, good. So there it goes again. I'm going to unlock it. I love that lock screen. Um, if it ever unlocks, hopefully it does. Uh, it's force closed vibrating like crazy too every once in a while. So let's go ahead and try and get this to go. I'm going to, if not, I can go ahead and reboot and I'll, I'll try and keep going. Okay, there it goes. Come on. Almost. <laughs> okay, so now real quick, I'm going to hit menu. I'm trying to to get things going. Okay, so there you go. Looks like he got updated talk Gmail icons. Obviously, it's ice cream sandwich optimized. Um, so very nice there. Looks like Samsung email you can set up. Uh, other than that, it looks like he got the same, same type of touch with widgets. Looks like you got an IM application right down there, which is different. I'm not too sure what that is. I'm sure if you open a lot of these apps, it will uh, fail. But hopefully this can continue. Uh, it, went, it went pretty well. But as you can see, it still looks like TouchWiz 4.0 included. Still looks like it's got some of TouchWiz icons. Um, it, it Obviously, it's got the TouchWiz overlay to Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, but it does have some different apps. Obviously, the settings has changed. Uh, let's try and get into the settings. Hopefully, I can. So I can show you guys we're on Android 4.0.3, which is the latest Android version. Let's see if this can load up. Okay, so it looks like it's loaded. As you can see, it's very similar to Ice Cream Sandwich, but uh, the icons are a little different. Obviously, touch was themed. You got power saving, just a couple different options. Uh, within the settings menu that are TouchWiz related, obviously that aren't just pure Android. But that's about it. I'm going to go to About Phone. So it, it does, options are very similar, obviously. Um, it's just they're categorized differently and more ice cream sandwich. As you can see, it had that nice blue over scroll glow. I'm going to try and get to About Phone, see if I can check the Android version on here. All right, so I got here, as you can see, GTI9100, that is the Samsung Galaxy S2 models number, but Android version 4.0.3. Let's see if I can tap on it a bunch of times and it'll take me to that hidden hidden feature. It's actually pretty cool on Ice Cream Sandwich. Apparently I can't get to it. Maybe if I, I'll, tr I'll keep trying. Oh, maybe it'll try and load it. It's probably not gonna work. Oh, it did, look it, check it out. So it did get to that little hidden feature. Now you press and hold on it and it gets bigger and bigger. And then it should load up some flying ice cream sandwich guys. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm surprised it even was able to get to this screen on its own. Hopefully it loads up. It's actually pretty cool. Let's see if it can load up. And it did. Awesome. 
So there you have it. So it takes you to the hidden little Easter egg an ice cream sandwich. I don't know why, but I like that a lot. It's, it's pretty cool that Google hides all that cool stuff in there. But I'm gonna try and go back. It does take its time going through all these screens, obviously. It force closes the phone application a lot. But that's about it. Just a quick review of the ice cream sandwich port from the Galaxy S2 device. As you can see, that nice blue overscroll glow it has. But that's about it. Um, it's very buggy, not something I'd recommend to flash, but just a quick update to, so you guys know what the ice cream sandwich update to our phones is going to look like, um, give you a good idea for it. So just figured I'd show you guys that. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video. video. I'll be happy to hear from you guys. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well if you like it. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, as I said.